Welcome everyone in another game tutorial series. Today I will show you how you can create simple quiz game in Unity. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future content. So let's have a look what we will create. So this is just a simple quiz game. If I press play, in my main menu I have two buttons play and exit. When I hit play I will be asked set of the questions which I defined in Unity, and I have to answer true or false on every each of them. So the earth is round, let's say true. So once you, your answer is correct, you will gain some scores, 10 points per, per question. If your answer is incorrect, you will lose some points. And you will lose points only if your scores are more than zero. And also pay attention to the buttons. Every time I answer the question, my buttons became invalid until new questions pops up. So if, you, if I answer all of the questions from the game, I'll be going back to the main menu. So in this series, I will also show you how you can store the question data by creating the scriptable object and write custom inspector to be able to add new questions. So this is the data set we will create. So I hope this tutorial will be fun to watch and it might be a good starting point if you want to start making simple quiz game in Unity. Okay, so let's get started. So I have created empty 2D Unity project and I'll be using Unity version 2020.1. And uh, before we start, let's uh, grab the asset from the website. So first of all, let's open the browser and go to the codeplanstudio.com. Link should be in the description below this video. So once you're on this page, go to the down download section, then switch to the free asset and you should see the simple quiz tutorial asset. Just click download, accept. You have to enter your email address and then click submit and, your, and the link, download link will be emailed to you. So once you get the package, go back to Unity and inside my asset folder, I will right click create folder and I will call this folder graphics. Let's open this folder and I will just right click in the editor show in the explorer so here is the the explorer window i will go inside the graphics and then paste the package which i downloaded once you have the package in let's right click on it extract all and then extract so now we have a folder so we can delete the zip file and inside this folder you should have all of the graphics needed in this tutorial so I will just close this Explorer window. Let's go back to Unity and all of the graphics should be visible inside your Unity. Okay, so now let's rename our main scene. So go to the scenes folder and you should have a sample scene. So I will just right click on this scene and then rename. And let's name this scene main menu. Then you have to reload your project Okay, and then let's double click on this main menu to make sure you are inside the scene. And now let's go back to the file, build settings, and make sure your main menu scene is inside the scene in build. If not, just grab your scene and drop it into this window. So now as we're gonna create this game for the Android, I will switch to the Android platform. So select Android from the list and then switch platform. So once everything is recompiled, you can close these windows window as you see the unity icon is next to the android platform and inside my game view i will just make sure you have the display resolution to 1080 by 1920 okay otherwise if you have the free aspect you will see something like that so i will just select the proper resolution and now inside our main menu i will just right click UI canvas and then let's change the canvas render mode to be screen space camera we have to grab our main camera and drop it into the render camera and then UI scale mode let's change to the scale with screen size reference resolution will be 1080 by 1920 and then match value I will set to 0.5 so now let's right click on the canvas UI panel and I will name this panel background 
And then let's change the color, the panel color. So I will just click on this color and then I will just paste the hexadecimal value. But you can set any color you, you like. Just make sure you change this alpha value to be 255. Otherwise your background will be semi-transparent. Okay, once you set your color, you can close this window. And now let's add few tones. So I will just right click on the canvas, UI button. And I will just call this button play. So now let's apply the proper sprite. So go to the graphics, simple quiz tutorial graphic, and let's find the play button. Grab this play button and drop it into the source image. And then press the set native size. And now let's go to the play button object and then delete this text component because we will not need it. So I will just select this text and press delete. So our play button is ready. Let's position it, position it up. So I will switch to the scene view, grab this button by holding the shift on my keyboard. I will move it up. Okay, let's, let's add the exit button now. So right click on the canvas, UI button, and I will call it exit. Let's remove the text component and let's apply the exit graphic. So grab the exit sprite and then drop it into the source image. Set native size. And then by holding the shift on my keyboard, I will move it up, uh, move it down. Maybe here. Okay, now let's add some question marks. So right click on the canvas UI image. I will call it title. Maybe it's not a title, but I didn't come up with better name. So grab the slice to graphic and drop it into the source image and then press set native size. And I will leave it in the position zero zero. So switch to the game view and see how everything looks. So I think everything looks fine. Now let's add some scripts. So go to the asset folder and then right click create folder. And I will call this folder scripts. And then before we progress with the script, let's go to the scenes and let's add another scene. So right click, create scene, and I will call it game scene. So now let's go back to our scripts folder, right click, create C sharp script, and I will call the script buttons. And then let's open the script. So my button script is open now. Let's first of all add the using statement. So right at the top, I will put another using Unity engine dot scene management. Okay, and now we can delete the update and the start method and put two public methods. So first one will be public void load scene and we will pass the scene name, so string scene name. And then inside this function, I will call scene management, scene manager dot load scene. And we will pass our scene name. And then we will need one more function. So below, I will put public void and I will call this function close application. Close application. And then inside this function, let's put application dot quit. Okay. And then let's save everything. So I will just press save button, switch back to Unity. And now let's select our main camera. Make sure the projection mode is set to orthographic. And now let's go to the scenes folder and grab the button script and drop it into the main camera. Okay, so now let's uh, make our play button to switch to another scene. So I will select the play button, go to the on click event, click this small plus. Now we can grab our main camera and drop it into this object. And from the functions, Let's select buttons and then load scene. 
and now we need to put the scene name so to make sure we have the right name input go to the scenes folder and make sure you put exactly the same name as as the scene you just created so game scene now let's select the exit button go to the on click event click the small plus grab our main camera and drop it into this object then from the functions select buttons and then close application okay so now our our scene is playable now so we can press play and let's try to start the game so as you see once you press the play button there is an error this is because we didn't add the game scene to our scenes in build so to fix this let's go back to our project go to the scenes folder and now go to the file build settings grab our game scene and drop it into the scenes in build so all of the scenes which you want to use in the game need to be added to this list and the first scene which which is in the list will be the main scene from which your game will start so close this window now when you press play you should be able to start the game scene which we did okay so our main menu scene is working fine Let's now go to our game scene and make sure you save the changes. So inside the scene, let's first of all add the canvas. So right click UI canvas, change the render mode to screen space camera, grab our main camera, drop it into the render camera. Then UI scale mode, change to scale with screen size. Again, the same resolution, so 1080 by 1920 and then match value to be 0 0.5 now let's right click on the canvas ui panel and this is going to be the background and now i will change the color for this panel to be exactly the same as the color we set in the main menu so this is the color and i will change the alpha value to be 255 I'm going to close this window now. Now let's add the question box. So I will right click on the canvas UI image and I will call it question box. Go to the graphics, simple quiz tutorial graphic and find the question box graphic, grab it and drop it into the source image. And now let's press set native size. As you see, the question bo box is displayed. I will switch to the scene view by holding shift I will move it up maybe here okay then right click on this question box UI text and this is going to be the question text so let's first of all change the anchor setting so I will just select this rectangle this square and select this icon to be stretched on the on the parent object and now let's change this text so I will just put, this is the placeholder text, question text, okay. And now I will change this font size to be 60. I will make the alignment to be in the middle and in the middle. And now I will change this rectangle value on the left to be zero, on the right to be zero, on the top to be zero, and on the bottom, let's set to 130. So the text is in the middle. As you see, the text is fit in the box. Okay, you can change text, you can change color, whatever you like to do with this text. So now let's add some buttons. So I will right click on this canvas, UI button, and this is gonna be our true button. Let's grab the true texture, drop it into the source image, set native size. And now we can remove the text component from this true button, select the text, press delete. And let's do the, do the same for the false button. So right click on the canvas, UI button. I will call it false button. Grab the false texture, drop it into the source image, set native size. And then let, remove the text component. Okay, and then let's move the false button down. 
So I will move it somewhere here and then true bottom will be a bit higher, maybe, maybe here. Now let's add the back button. So right click on the canvas UI button and it's going to be back. Select the slice one texture, drop it into the source image, set native size, and let's move this button to be in the corner, somewhere here. And then remove the text component from this button. Okay, now let's add the score text. So right click on the canvas UI image, and I will just call this scores. Grab the scores drop it into the source image, set native size, and I will move the scores to be somewhere here. Okay, and now we need to display the scores, so the scores number will be next to it. So I will just right click on the scores, then UI text. And this is going to be our points. I will change the text to be 0. I will change the font size to be 80. And then make sure the alignment is on the left and in the middle. And I will change the color of this text to be white. Okay, so let's move this text on the side and uh, let's change the, actually the height of this text to be 130. So as you see, our scores is displayed here. Maybe move it a bit down. So we have our scores. Let's see how everything looks. We can move the scores a bit to the left, to the right, and set Y position to be zero. Okay, so we have our scores. We have all of the UI elements. The last thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna implement this back button. So I will just click on the main camera, go to the scripts, grab our buttons, drop it into the main camera, and then let's go to the back button, go to the on-click event, click this small plus, grab our main camera, drop it into this on-click event from the list select buttons, load scene. And we're going to go back to the main scene, to the main menu. Okay, make sure you put the same name as you have in your, in your scenes. So we're going to, by pressing this button, we will move back to the main menu. And now we can go to the file, save. And let's go back to the main menu, press play and see if everything works. Play, everything is displayed correctly. And now when you press the, the back button, you're go, gonna go back to the main menu. In the next episode, we will implement the behavior of this true and false and also create this data structure to hold our questions and the correct answers. So if you like this episode, please consider subscribing to this channel, leave a like. If you have any question, any problem with implementing it, do let me know in the comments below this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video.